My name is Jessica Ching. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Eve Medical. We are a healthcare company that's focused on women's health or female sexual health. We have a platform called EveKit that enables women and other people who want to screen do that from home without having to go into the clinic. And the purpose behind that is to reduce the barriers uh, to screening, which could be anything from lack of time, uh, lack of transport, clinic being too far, no family doctor. We want to help people get over some of those hurdles and just get screened by making it more convenient and easy to do at home. This whole company actually started as my thesis project when I was at OCAD. I was uh, talking with a group of friends of mine and realized that a lot of them had not been screening on a regular basis for cervical cancer, which is uh, something that all women should be doing, uh, and that a lot of the reason behind that was actually really simple reasons, like they felt really awkward or they didn't have time to go or it just kept falling off their priority map, eventually realized that there was such an idea as self-sampling, which is people collecting their own samples to screen for HPV, which is the virus that causes cervical cancer. I would not done anything in the healthcare field before, I never designed in the healthcare field, but I just felt like it was a better opportunity to create some kind of impact in the world. If I pursued this idea, if I could get it out there in the world, I felt that I could make a much bigger difference for, for these particular people who weren't screening compared to some of the products I might have been designing as a designer. When Once we decided to start the company, the next step was really to make the product functional because the product that I designed in school was really a non-functional prototype. It, it didn't work at all. So we applied for some funding through uh, the Ontario Centers of Excellence and through IRAP as well. And we were lucky enough to get some, some grant money to be able to hire an engineer to help us take this concept into a fully functionable and manufacturable product. That was the first phase. We started uh, down this path of a clinical trial with a team at uh, St. Joseph's Hospital and McMaster University to evaluate this device compared to um, the gold standard, which is a physician-collected swab. Unfortunately, in the clinical study, uh, we discovered all these problems with the product. It was, it was actually really scary for us. We felt like it was probably the end of the company at that point because we couldn't get this product to work. Uh, but it was. In hindsight, it was actually a really good thing because we learned all of these things about what was required in the product by actually going out there and using it. We took that information back in and we redesigned the product so that it met all of that criteria. With cervical cancer, about a third of women uh, in Canada don't screen on a regular basis according to guidelines. That leads to about 1,500 cases of cervical cancer annually. In this day and age, there really should be no one dying from cervical cancer, uh, and we want to stop that from happening.